class. This video is going to be on uh, writing compound inequalities. So first, let's look at a review warm-up. I suggest you pause this and try it on your own. But we're just writing a single inequality. Here we have a closed circle at negative 2, and then our line is going to the right. So these are all, all our x values are going to be greater than or equal to negative 2. Versus over here, we have an open circle at 5, and then our line is going to the left. So here, our inequality is going to be x is less than 5. So it doesn't include 5, so just less than, not equal to. x is less than or equal to 6. Close circle at 6 and going to the left of 6. And then x is greater than 1. It's an open circle at 1. It's going to the right. Let's review compound inequalities then. This is a and inequality. Um, we read it from the inside out. It says that x is greater than negative 7 and x is less than or equal to 5. So this one is pointing to the, the negative 7. So x is greater than negative 7. And if it's written like that, it's an and inequality, less than or equal to 5. So it's in between negative 7 and 5. So I'm going to start with negative 8 and then number my number line. Oops, negative 6, negative 5, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So at negative 7, it's just greater than, so I have an open circle at negative 7, and it's greater than negative 7, so you go to the right, and then it's less than or equal to 5, so close circle of 5, and it's going less than. And so in the and inequalities, if you're going bigger than negative 7 and less than 5, it's all of these inequalities in between. One solution to this inequality would be any number that is in between here. So you could do negative 2 or 0. Um, one number that is not a solution is x could not equal negative 7 since we have that open circle there. It has to be greater than negative 7. So those are and inequalities. They're connected. The x values are between the two numbers. Versus our or inequality. This one says that x is greater than 8. Or x is less than or equal to Two. So for these ones, I'm going to start with zero, and then I'm going to count by twos because I need to graph two and eight. You just graph them separately. So x is greater than two. That's an open circle since it's just greater than. Doesn't include eight. And greater than eight is to the right. Ten and twelve are both greater than eight. Then x is less than or equal to two. Be a closed circle at two. And then numbers that are less than 2 are to the left. So in OR, they face like opposite directions. So they're going this way and then this way. So today we're going to look at the graphs and then try to um, come up with the inequality. So we're working backwards today. So compound inequalities. So this one, our first graph here as an example, our, all our x values are represented by the blue line, and they are between 3 and 9. So this would read x is greater than 3 and less than 9. So like 6, 6 would be a solution. 6 is greater than 3 and less than 9. Both of them are open circles, so not equal to 3 and not equal to 9. So you would write this with the x in the middle. Um, start with the right side. x is less than 9. And then it's greater than 3, so we want to point at the 3 because the 3 is smaller. One thing to notice is that the inequalities, the, the smaller number always goes on the left in a compound and inequality. So this is an and, they're together. And then if you put the smaller number on the left, the inequalities will always face the same direction. So notice that they're both pointing to the left. They're both open circles, so neither one is equal to. So that is an and inequality. This one is an or inequality. Here, this side says that x is less than negative 3 or x is greater than 9. So written as x is less than negative 3 or x is greater than 9. So for these, you write just two separate inequalities 
you have a symbol that faces both one to the left, one to the right, write the word or in the middle. You have to write them as separate statements because these are um, two separate inequalities. They're not connected in the middle like the other compound inequality is. All right, we'll do a couple more. So first we're gonna practice describing it in words and then writing the compound inequality with symbols. So this is an or inequality because we are going in opposite directions here. The first side says that we're at two and then to the left. So the first side is that X is less than two. It's not equal to two because there's no, no closed circle or the right side, it's a closed circle and it's getting bigger. Five, six, seven, eight are all greater than four. So or greater than or equal to four. So when we write this one, we write x is less than 2 or x is greater than or equal to 4. So we write the ors as two separate inequalities, just like that. But when the inequalities are connected, so it's between 5 and 7 now, this is an and inequality. So this one was an or inequality. The next one is an and inequality. So the difference is the the um, the inequality is between two numbers. So this one says that it's equal to five or bigger, so greater than, so x is greater than or equal to five, and x is less than seven. And I can pick a number in between here, like six, and just make sure that makes sense. Is six greater than or equal to five? Yes. And is six also less than seven? Yes. So I've written this correctly. Six is greater than or equal to five, and it's less than seven. To write this in symbols, you put your x in the middle. Um, I write the right side first, so x is less than seven. So x is less than seven. Then it's greater than or equal to five. So point to the five, it's equal to so we read it from the inside out in a compound inequality. The inequality symbols always point the same direction. And if you read it without the X in, in it, make sure it makes sense. If I read it just like cover up the X and read it, it would say 5 is less than 7. Or 5 is less than or equal to 7. And that's both true. So it has to be true from left to right. So if X, X values are between 5 and 7. You can have it equal to 5, but not equal to 7. That's our open circle versus our closed circle. All right, I'll do one more. This is an and inequality as well because it is going between the two values, between 10 and 20. So this is to the right of 10, but not equal to. That would be that x is greater than 10. And... Then we have it at 20 and we're going to the left. So and it is less than 20. So in symbols, write the left side or the right side first. X is less than 20. And then it is greater than 10. Make sure your inequalities face the same direction both ways. Both pointing to the left, smaller numbers on the left, X is in the middle. That's an and inequality. And then just to recap, remember that ors go the opposite direction. They face the other ways. So and and or writing inequalities. All right.